2020 is the year that I realized that I made the best decision of my life. Say that one more time. 2020 <laughs> is the year that I realized that I made the absolute best decision of my life. I started to feel like the only way that I was gonna get married is my wife was gonna have to knock on my door. And my wife actually knocked on my door. When I opened the door and I saw her, I was like, she's absolutely beautiful. Um, but I think what was the icing on the cake was she was smart um, and she was a music lover, you know, my friend and I. And Lynette started talking about musical interest and I started playing some stuff in the house and she was putting me on to music that I didn't know about and I really enjoyed that and she left and it was just kind of like okay what am I supposed to do now but when I first saw Jeff I was like oh he's cute you know very quiet and which is complete opposite of me uh, <laughs> and I think that definitely drew me to him because I'm always very curious about people who don't feel the need to share everything because I share everything, you know. And so he just had a calming kind of spirit. But our biggest issue early on wasn't who's going to do the dishes. It was us fighting over who's doing the dishes because we both did it. Like That's the kind of person that you want to be with that it was never pushing responsibilities or any of that kind of stuff off. It's a part. I think as Black people, we have gone through so much stuff that sometimes love is all we have. Listening to, you know, stories that my grandmother told and just some of the things that she had to overcome. Uh, you know, growing up in the South, my dad passed away very early on, but, uh, what I remember is my mom sitting on my dad's lap. What I remember is my dad kissing me and telling me he loved me every day. It's the thing that keeps us going. Um, I think that the world and the existence of Black people, especially in America, has been so difficult, tumultuous, that Black love has been the, the glue or the, the form of, of stability that we've needed. There's a certain level of understanding that you can only get from Black love. It's just different. There's a passion to it. There is a, a community about it. My grandmother was born in 1889 passed away, you know, at 105 with full memory. I remember uh, my, you know, grandmother telling, you know, me that on, on a census report that she had to fill out that her kids were white to get a better opportunity. Um, just the level of, you know, cautiousness that they had to have just going to the store in the South um, that my mother and, you know, and her siblings had to deal with growing up. It was the migration from Virginia to Philadelphia because it was, things were a little bit better in Philadelphia. It's strange to say what Black love feels like because I don't know what any other love feels like. There is a level of safety to me in that. You know, growing up, um, I, my dad always made me feel safe. Black love feels like security. It feels free. 2020 was the year that I feel that um, people's faith, people's love, um, people's commitment was tested more than more than ever. There's no one on this planet that you can pick up the phone and say, the last time we were in a pandemic, how did we get through it? So this is new for everybody. 
we're walking through the woods trying to find a solution together. We're afraid, but we're not letting the kids know that we're afraid. But we are laughing, we're joking. And I think this is the time that you understand who you want to be lost with. And we're going to value every day um, because none of these days are promised.